Hello everyone, Timber1 for 321 here, and today I'm showing you guys Battlefield 4 gameplay. Now what I wanted to do here is talk about how you can increase your image quality in gaming, so you don't have to deal with those distant jaggies and all that stuff. Now this is really if you have very powerful hardware. The Photon is not really capable of this kind of dramatic image increase. This is really for people who, if you have a really beefy computer, or an extremely beefy gaming laptop, this is what you can do to increase your image quality. And this this simple thing is called super sampling. And what super sampling is is basically the processing of a game at a higher resolution then squishing it down to your display resolution. Here's an example. Uh, let's say you have a 1080p monitor. That is 1K resolution. And let's say you have super sampling on Battlefield 4 at 200% then that is basically, cal your, your graphics card is calculating the game at 2K resolution and basically squishing it down to, to fit your 1080p display. So basically dramatically increasing image quality. And this does not have any, ki any kind of downside. It's, it's like backwards as you are stretching a picture to go see as far in as you can zoom, you start to see all the pixels. This is basically the opposite, which is squishing it back down to fit your display, which dramatically increases quality. It, it looks great, what I've done with it. But the Photon is not really capable of any kind of extreme super sampling. So I recommend you have more powerful hardware to really run this thing. Because basically you're running it at a higher resolution without actually changing the resolution settings of the game. You're basically just super sampling here. But again, it, it will significantly increase your image quality, but it will also cost you a lot of frames per second, which is why you're going to need a lot of hardware to, a lot of beefy graphics card to support the, all that, those millions and millions of pixels that you're going to be pushing every single second. And for the Photon, you would be able to do some super sampling, but don't expect 60 FPS in Battlefield. There's no, uh, I, I highly doubt that you will ever be able to achieve that kind of frame rate clock with the Photon. I'm going to show you guys some very specific images of um, levels in Battlefield 4 and I want you guys to look at specifically cables. You're going to see cables in the next scene that I'm about to show you and it will have, you'll be able to see the, the jaggies and anti-aliasing, basically the staircase effect if you, might, if you will. And what this is, is that basically there's not enough pixels there to, to make that smooth image that you see if you had enough pixels. So basically what super sampling will do is that unlike anti-aliasing, anti-aliasing basically just your graphics card sees the image and says okay what, what needs to go here so basically puts all the pieces in between there basically uh, I saw a really nice review it said uh, they called this fake resolution which is basically what it is it costs a lot of GPU power and it's basically fake resolution you're, you're better off turning up the resolution than increasing anti-aliasing now what super sampling does, which I just told you guys, is that you have more pixels to begin with. So your graphics card doesn't have to look in the wire and calculate, okay, what needs to go here, here, here to decrease the this the stare of this case effect. You can see this in various cables as you're running around in the game, like telephone wires and even the the stock in your gun. You look up close to the very straight lines on your gun, on your weapons, and you can see the you can see the lines moving, and it, if you can't see it at all, then you have a very high resolution, and you wouldn't really need this. But anyway, let's get into the images, and you can specifically see for yourself how it would look like. Round you, bet I will. Irish, I'm on your side. Yeah, sure you are. Save the bullshit. What about Pack? Soup? Alright, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned something in this video and hopefully try to tweak around and find the settings that will fit with your computer. So just mess around with the settings. Just don't be afraid to turn off some anti-aliasing, upgrade some super sampling, and find the settings that work for you. Thank you for watching this video. I'll have more content up real soon, I promise. Turtle Man, out.